This 12 good. Pri oh, it's the Primark video. It's the Primark one. Oh, I'm so excited. Let's do it. Hardcore. Oh, it's a. Oh, that's so cool. So, um. I didn't know you could contact people through telepathy like that. I was about to thank you for a job well done on stopping that Inquisitor, but then I remembered how headaching you are. <laughs> of course, I can contact people telepathically. I'm a motherfucking emperor. <laughs> ah, um. So, why haven't you ever done that earlier? Like, before the Texas speech device was implemented? I have you fucking check either, man. Quite a few times, in fact. Oh, really? <laughs> It's time, have you ever it is time, boys. Thanks for the super no, chat. I'm not a psycho. I think. You're not then a psycho. Shut the fuck up Likely. about it. You're obviously not aware that using telepathy to communicate like that can be really straining on the mind. But my lord, aren't you the greatest psycho in the galaxy? Still straining. Shouldn't a little bit of telepathy be like taking a casual killing stroll through a field of unarmed Eldar to you? It was easier in the past, when my psyche wasn't ravished to lose it, <laughs> and splintered by the endless agonizing torment I received from sitting on this throne. Yep. Slowly but surely I'm having my soul torn apart by the entropy of the war grinding against the powers of my mind, while my body decays in perpetual pain, and I'm being forced to live through every second of it. Uh, endless torment, my lord? Lunacy? <laughs> Your soul being torn apart? What? You don't have to what? remind me about what I just said, you fucking asshole. I'm not that senile just yet. Oh my god. I didn't know it was like that, by the way. I'm so sorry. Isn't it obvious? I've been sitting here on this fucking throne for 10,000 years, slowly rotting away while constantly powering the Astronomicon, and fighting off the horrors of the warp at the same time. It's no walk in the fucking park, you dev shit. <laughs> no. Just sitting still. It killed his best friend. It killed his best friend. Still without moving for this long is horrible. Yeah. Can you even begin to imagine the muscle cramps I have experienced? Ooh. Also, e. my nose has been itching like a lawnmower ever since I was put here. Oh, no. It doesn't even exist anymore, but it just keeps itching. Ooh. And I know exactly who to blame for it. Nargo, I hate you and everything you stand for. But phantom itching is probably the best thing you ever invented. <laughs> Honestly, I would think... Zinch would do the phantom itching. That more seems like a him thing to do. Oh. oh my gosh, that was so disturbing. The worst part was, the worst part was Slanesh. Oh my goodness. Uh... <laughs> I am right. To think that you suffered this absolutely atrocious fate to keep mankind alive. You truly are the graceful guardian of our entire species. I don't Thanks. think he's very graceful. I got so yes, <laughs> sitting on this throne for an extended period of time is absolutely great. A fucking awful. No, what do you use for all the time? Shut up, you fucking <laughs> cockstogies! And fuck my fucking nose is killing me, fucking yep. damn. Uh, yep. Um, I, know. I can't blame Let's him. Change the subject. Maybe I'll get your mind off it. Do it fucking fast. I'm feeling a giant warp storm incoming. Oh boy. Uh. So how about those trail agents, huh? <laughs> Everyone, you have to listen. Oh. It better be important, number A7453. Oh. We are busy staring at this piece of metal. We've received absolutely technorific news. 
Ooh, did they move post the sex? Oh, there? no! Even better. Oh my they found gosh! An STC fragment on a planet right on the border of the second ah. in the so called Arroyo subsector. Is this really true? Yes. An expedition oh. is on its way right now. Oh, I just. Sorry it. about your ears, chat. <laughs> that hurt my ears too. Don't worry. Oh, damn, still alive! Magnus, Ulrim, Perture Ammo, Mortarian, Lower Guard, Conrad, Enron, Alpharius Omega, and fucking Horus. <laughs> my sons, created in the laboratories of Luna, made out of my very own genes. To think that they would ever fucking forget. Oh! Well, my lord, at least Lehman Ross Ferris has Vulcan Rebirth Rebirth Oh my. That's still not fucking good enough. I mean, I'm kidding. I was a By the way, I'm kidding. Don't actually, please do not. Don't do it. I don't, don't do that. Don't. Don't do it. Please. Begging you, do not. <laughs> great fucking father to all of them. No, you were a man. Their obvious flaws. You, Magnus you weren't great. Being a nerdy fucking bookworm yep. and a psyker, not ever being able to stand up to the brothers <laughs> who bullied them over it. Full brain being a sissy fucking brown noser who would rather indulge himself in his secret quest <laughs> to obtain more fabulous hair than me. To this day, he has not succeeded. Well, Perturabo was always so volatile and childish, constantly bitching and moaning when he didn't get I can't wait till he gets to Lorgar. Mordarian constantly smelled like shit from day one. Oof, yeah, that's pretty bad. Lorgar was a brainwashed choir boy with a massive victim complex. <laughs> Conrad could then stand a little fucking sunlight and kept feeling persecuted by his fantasies about a dark and depressing future. Angron was constantly mad. Like, extremely, earth shattering <laughs> unreasonably fuck-ass mad. Probably because he had those fucking nails in his brain. Probably. Alpharius Probably. Omega had huge anonymity issues. And fucking Horus started off nice and friendly, but then he decided to stop trusting me when I left for Terra and became an edgy rebel instead, leading all traitor agents to Terra <laughs> and then put me on this fucking throne. Oh, great. Right, right, my lord. It is no one of the most flawed sons of yours betrayed you. The pure and noble and flawless ones were yes. remain, actually. <sighs> I'd agree with you, but no. Even the loyal ones were flawed as fuck. Oh, well, yeah, they're flawed, Rust but, like, their flaws aren't as bad, and they know how to handle themselves. ...was bigoted, self-righteous, unnecessarily rash, and had a fetish for wolves. <laughs> Ferris Manus was a brutish-ass crack with a survival of the fittest mindset, thinking all quote-unquote mm -hmm. weakness within the human species needed to be destroyed. Falcon died all the fucking time, and was always too damn nice. <laughs> Robodorn was oh, just is he saving Sanguinius for last? Really honest, never being capable of even telling a white little lie to make someone feel better about himself. <laughs> yeah. Robot Willman always acted infallible in his steadfast clinging to everything being held traditional, plain and unconfucking-ventional, yet wasn't as infallible as he wanted to believe. Fair enough. Lionel Johnson was just a mess. <laughs> being both a self-absorbed, spiteful and envious prick and Maybe an not honorable, that. courageous and dutiful warrior at the same time. Fucking confusing. <laughs> Jagat Icon was always oh, so fucking he's saving my boy for last, I think. High speed. <laughs> and lastly, Corpus Corax was oh. always so infernally <gasps> fucking angsty. Uh -oh. What about Sanguinius? What about Sanguinius? Please. Wait, what about Sanguinius? Yes! Don't you talk shit about my fabulous fucking hot boy. Yes! Yes! Oh, I understand your jokes now, Hawk boy. I understand them. Yes, yes, yes! We're gonna play that again five times. Don't ever talk that way about my beautiful hawk boy. <sighs> yes. So based. So based. Mm. I am so happy. Also, thank you for the bits, Otaku. Magnus flat out asked Vulcan if he would stay loyal if he was in Magnus's situation. And Vulcan... <laughs> Did not respond. Yeah. Let's, let's not think about it. Sanguinius is the boy. Thank you, default gamer. I might add that to my to my <laughs> to my descriptions. 
for future videos just in case. Yes. Yes, oh my gosh, I'm so happy. He said the best, the best. Oh, I listened to this five times, again and again and again and again. Don't you talk shit about my fabulous fucking boy. Yes! He died for uh. me, so be grateful. All right, of course. Well, what about this other two brothers? We don't talk about them. I don't even remember their names. We don't talk we about don't them. We talk about them. <gasps> the, ah! <laughs> the number of times I have said a line that they say five seconds later. Oh my gosh, that feels so good. <laughs> that feels so good. It feels so good, chat. I swear I have not watched this. This is my first time watching all of this. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, why? Because we don't talk about them. Right, I won't ask yet. However, I just cannot understand why they <laughs> betray you. I know, right. I mean, sure, Lower Guard grew up on a planet full of chaos worshippers, <laughs> but that doesn't mean he could then start using his fucking brain. Especially once I came along to straighten him out. The rest seemingly just did it because they either were corrupted by chaos through or guard. Oh, took too much offense when I told them I had some daddy things to do back on Terra <laughs> when I tried to correct them when they were doing stupid things. To be fair, some of his corrections were ah uh, a bit extreme. Um He did destroy a whole city instead of saying, Hey son. You should, like, not worship me as a god. I'm not a god. I know it looks like it. The emperor never did anything halfway. <laughs> so someone had a comment. I wanted to respond to it. Where is it? Uh... Oh, yes, I am uh, <laughs> sharing a brain cell with the emperor. What are you saying? Hmm? Hmm? I'm special. <laughs> Uh, it was like, I thought it was like, it was like a gun. And I thought it was like super napon. Because like, if you just watched them destroy the city, it like, it blinded you. Like, you should have turned away. That's what happened to one of the people. Uh, what's her name? Cyrene. Yeah. Aurelia is the shard of em the emperor confirmed. Oh. Oh. I like that. I'll write that down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my neck. Mm, there we go. Yeah. Emperor doesn't do anything. Nothing is half-baked with him. Most of the time it's just burnt. Yep. <laughs> All right. Next. Next. <laughs> I have to ask, since that's apparently my duty nowadays, why did you not tell them what you were going to do back on Terra? Well, what was I supposed to say? I can't just tell my <laughs> own children that I'm building a gate into the webway because I need some booty and Eldar prostitutes are cheaper and a lot less shy. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> I did not share that thought with the Emperor, that's for sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I am not one of those. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I said, I can't just tell them that I'm building oh. a gate into the webway because humanity needs some booting up in its transportation department and Eldar webways are safer and a lot less shoddy than warp travel. Oh, that's what I thought. That would have been so easy. <laughs> <laughs> I could not take any risks with this project, and telling my sons would indeed have created unnecessary risks. Their trust in me should not have swayed when I left. Oh. It's not like I'm demanding full access disclosure to their everyday lives, even mm, if I'm their father. I mean, imagine if I had, for example, stepped into Lionel Johnson's room, and been all like, <laughs> hey, sonny, how's... I imagine now that, he, now that he says, like, oh, if Lionel Johnson's room, like, what each of their rooms would look like 
Like, I imagine in, like, the lion's room, he has, like, a practice, like, dummy that he does all of his sword techniques on. Like, something like that. And, like, Ferris Manus and, like, Vulcan would have little, like, mini forges. Like, little workshops to work on things. Um, Gilliman would probably have, like, 60 monitors to do all of his Excel spreadsheets. <laughs> and Fulgrim would have, like, a vanity with some really nice lights, with some, like, hair creams, skin creams. Um... Like, the con would have, like, a treadmill or, like, a bike simulator that he'd ride on. Probably not the bike simulator. He'd just go get on his bike. He'd never be in his room. Lorgar would have a body pillow of the Emperor. Yes. <laughs> Let's see. Um, what what else? I'm trying to think of one that, that's, like, good. Alpharius and Omegon, they have uh, bunk beds. <laughs> they share a room. <laughs> Yeah, Kurz has, like, emo bands all over. <laughs> uh, let's see, Magnus has got, like, it's, oh, you know what Magnus's room is like? It's like the Minecraft uh, enchanting, um, enchantment room. <laughs> Dorn? Hmm, what would Dorn have? Uh, <sighs> see, I'm thinking of, like, teenage I'm thinking of the Primarchs if they were, like, teenagers, less of, like, when they're, like, in their elementary school ages. Yeah, Dorn would probably just be super simple. Like, someone said, like, um, a bed and a desk. Oh, Legos, yeah. He would probably build, like, little plans with Legos. He probably has, like, tons of Legos. I agree. I don't know what Sanguinius would have in his room. Like, thinking about it, like, he probably has some, like, incense some candles, but it's probably, like, for the most part, like, simplistic. Like, I imagine it, like, a mix of, like, Fulgrim and Dorn. Like, that sounds kind of weird. <laughs> I'm building that homosexual nightclub coming along oh, for you. Goodness. Oh, yes. I fully understand, my lord. In fact, as well as returning to Terra to build the human webway, I guess you could also say that I was testing them to see how my sons would work together without me to guide them. As it turned out, not much better than regular <laughs> humans left to their own devices. Yeah, that's about right. Um, can I ask about another thing? You're going to anyway, regardless of how I answer, aren't you? Pretty even much, yeah. sons are obviously flawed. Isn't there anything good about them? I mean, even the ones who betray you? Is there anything good you see in them? Well, well saw. No. Probably, like, something he saw in them, maybe not anymore. They probably have good traits, but they're now used for bad purposes.